All right, so in this video, I'm going to discuss three things which is going to change your life forever. And you got to follow each and every of these three things if you want to be successful. Now, some people try this. They go to Colombia, they hook around with a bunch of beautiful women, and they almost uh, end up getting killed or land up in the ICU. So I'm not going to discuss anything risky like that. You got to be more strategic. You got to be more smart and sensible the way you approach this. But the first thing I'm going to recommend or want to start off with is quitting alcohol for a month cold turkey, meaning you're not going to touch any form of alcohol. It's not going to be wine, beer, hard liquor, any kind of alcohol, right? So it's period. You quit. You quit for a month. You don't. Uh, you don't even touch it. A lot of um, nomads. Uh, and travelers and global investors make this big mistake that they are traveling they feel they're on a vacation the first thing they hop in a bar and start drinking they get hammered thinking that they're going to find someone new they're going to change their life no absolutely not that is the most ridiculous way of starting your journey that's going to waste all of your valuable time it's not good for you so first thing is you're going to be more active, you're going to be more fit. So before you embark on this one month journey, you want to obviously get yourself in some shape. You're going to look decent. You want to look good. You don't want to look like trash or garbage. So you have to prep. And the best way of prepping is cut down on your uh, calories, get in shape, right? Do your best and doesn't needless to say how you get in shape. There's tons of material available. So get in some decent shape and then start this one month journey when, when, when you're not going to touch alcohol at all when you are in this new country. And this is very important. This one step you think is simple. You can cut corners. No, when you are going on this journey, that whole month is going to be sober. So that's the first step. The second step is you got to finalize or you got to look at different locations, right? Beautiful women aren't restricted to any one country. There are multiple smaller countries which have a lot of young, vibrant uh, population who is ready to embrace wealthy foreigners from outside. So you obviously got to narrow down two or three different countries. Now, the, the big question is, are you single? You're not single. Now, 50% of the people file for divorces, right? So 50% is a very large volume. So, so many people, half the people are dissatisfied. They get a divorce, they turn single. So if you are already single and your age does not matter. Anyways, a lot of people watching this channel are in the range of 25 to 55. It's a drastic range and quite a lot of people are single some people are divorced so if you fall in that 50 percent category who has either filed a divorce or are just in the middle of filing a divorce then you're all set for the rest of the 50 percent i think 25 percent are genuinely okay you know they're satisfied maybe 10 percent are truly happy 15 percent are okay you know they can deal with that relationship so those are obviously they can target the friendship you're not looking to hook around or screw around with beautiful women all you can do is obviously be friends so you got to obviously take your relationship into account but then within that 50 percent there's that 25 percent uh, who are unsure they want to get a divorce but they're afraid maybe there's family pressure maybe it's family pressure from within the family you have children you don't know how they're going to react what's going to happen or there's extended family who might be pressurizing you so you know you are in two minds so it's okay to be in two minds but it's also okay to be open again as i said if you are in a relationship you should not be screwing around but what you can start off with is making good solid friendships so you're creating a backup so let's say you are sure that that's not the right relationship for you, you want to step out which is getting more and more common these days and the reason why you're seeing so many divorces is because the women are getting too heavily influenced by some of the western gender mafia uh, is really influencing them in the wrong ways. Women before had some traditional and typical roles in the family. Everything was functioning more correct, more happier. Now with so much of demand, a lot of women are just seeking and seeking and seeking and seeking money and you know all the wrong things. And when it comes to giving, the rules have almost changed to a large extent. And that is the reason why you're seeing so many divorces these days. So let's say you, know, you have figured all of that out and you have made up your mind. You want to start off with that friendship. And that's the starting point, right? So again, you've got to narrow down on the list of countries. Now, if you're confused, if you don't know which, which is the best country to narrow down on, my channel is 
full of options. Browse through the categories, you will find almost all the countries that give you options available. Now, once you have narrowed down one or two or three or four different countries that you want to target, the next step is the residency. Now, this is the biggest achievement that you're trying to get out of this. You, most of the residencies typically take a, a month to process. I mean, some would take longer if you're looking for a citizenship, then obviously that's a separate process. But let's say you are trying to get a low hanging fruit, you want to start a residency. Typically a month is a good time frame to secure a residency. So that is the big reward that you're targeting. You're an investor, you're smart. So the first thing you would target is the residency. What that residency does is that it preps you uh, for your relationship. Now, if you start moving your assets or diversifying after the fact, meaning let's say you're, you know, you're filed the divorce or your wife has filed the divorce on you, at that time, if you take action, that is too late, it can be viewed as marital fraud. You're trying to move the assets after the relationship has broken. So now when the relationship is fine, this is the time to be proactive and diversify your assets. So let's say you're starting off with this residency. One of the biggest benefits is that you get an opportunity into a new country. Once you are a resident, you can legally open bank accounts, you can legally purchase properties, you get rights in that country, which is very important because that is your pathway. As a visitor, you don't have those rights, but as a resident, you have the rights to open bank accounts and buy property. So that is the opportunity that you instantly get to diversify your assets within that country. So that residence, securing that residency in that month is the main objective. Second best thing is you want to be your best. You want to be fit. You want to be smart. You want to be proactive. You want to have the right approach. You want to be energetic. You don't want to, you don't want to be facing any kind of ED while you're on your trip. So you have to have to completely eliminate that alcohol. You're not going to go out in the bars and drink. Maybe have a soft drink, maybe have something else, but don't have any drinks outside in the bar. That is the golden principle. The next thing is obviously the dating apps and different avenues that you have to approach women. You should not be soliciting the bad actors out there. That's not going to lead to genuine, beautiful relationships. You don't want to be hooking around and getting yourself into trouble. You don't want ISDs and all of that. I'm talking about genuine, beautiful relationships with people. And if you're not in a capacity, if you belong to that 25% who is committed in your relationship, then at least what you can do is make good friendship and keep your options in place while you are legally diversifying your assets in that new country because you're gaining a new residency. So you have all this beautiful, rich friendship and then you want to multiply on your friendship, right? You don't mind spending a couple of bucks here and there. So that always works out well. You're going to want to share your wealth, let others drink, but you stay away from drinking for that month. Ideally, you don't want to drink at all. You want to quit drinking for your life, but at least try this experience for a month. You'll get a sneak peek into what life truly means and how rewarding that experience could be. Before you embark on this journey, make sure to turn on the bell notification and subscribe to my channel because it helps the channel grow and helps me get you important news breaks and content. I cover broad variety of topics on my channel. And as I said, we have attorney coverages in most of the countries that we talk about. So you can always click the link in the description, book a call with us. We can figure out what is the best residency that fits your needs. We can also have a discussion surrounding your asset diversification. And the key thing, the most important thing to remember here is this has to be done proactively. You can't do this after the fact. So the best time to start your asset diversification is right now. That's why you need a residency. That's why you need the access so you can then start moving your funds before it gets too late. Once your funds are diversified, once you are lightweight, once you've made up your mind, you have that solid friendship in place, the beautiful friendship in place. You obviously have secured that aspect. And now let's say you're trying to move. And one of the big questions is, should you be moving away from your relationship? I think if your relationship, and the best way to judge this or the best way to evaluate this is, let's say you talk about five things that you seek from a relationship, let's say it's friendship, it's attraction, whatever you feel is an important thing that you wanna seek in a relationship. So out of the five, uh, if you can pick two good things 
in a relationship that you're truly proud of you truly feel are great and you want to continue that then you know that makes sense to continue with your relationship but if you really aren't able to find even one or two good things in your existing relationship then that tells you that's a poor relationship you got to spend some time think about it and then prep yourself but before you even prep or think or take actions this action is very important and this is not cheating or this is not um you know sort of doing anything wrong this is obviously being proactive and doing things legally there are two ways of doing things the timing is very important the intention is very important as long as you're being proactive as long as your intentions are legally sound right you should be good you got to be legally smart at every point in time in your life and as long as you're being legally smart you're always going to be safe if you're going to be dumb then even if your intentions are good you're going to get screwed up by opportunistic actors so it's very important to use some brains and be proactive all right i hope you like this video if you did give me a thumbs up make sure you're subbed and catch you in the next one